hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another video for you guys i'm going to be showing you how i do this really nice 90s hairstyle on my 40 natural hair the style is actually inspired by something tokyo styles has done so yeah without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another video for you guys i'm going to be showing you how i did this 90s style on my 40 natural hair now i've seen this style a lot on um, instagram it was always done on weave or like a wig or something so i decided to try it out on my natural hair and see if i would be able to get it and this is like the closest thing i could get to the look and i actually really 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 like how it turned out and um, i think tokyo styles on instagram originally did the style he normally does like these retro flip bottom bobs and stuff so i decided to just try it out on my natural hair and see um how it was going to turn out so yeah if you're not already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button down below turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified for when i upload my videos and without further ado sit tight and let's jump straight into the video okay so as usual i've done one side of my head just for practice and i'm going to show you what i do with the other side so you see i um, i section off a front portion from ear to ear one side of my ears to the other and I'm going to do flat twists at the back then work on the front later on so as you can see I'm just simply doing my flat twist I had about uh, I think 36 flat twists in the back of my head so 18 on one side and 18 on the other side it doesn't have to be 36 um, specifically that was just how many I ended up doing you can do more or less depending on how you want the style to look and I already have so many flat twists, so, I keep saying flat twists, I have so many loose twists, I'm doing loose twists at the back, I have so many loose twist videos, so if you don't know how to loose twist, definitely check one of my previous loose twist videos for more details, I'm going to leave all my loose twist videos down below, and there, um, they are also in a playlist. So I'm just doing my loose twist, and to loose twist, you twist the roots firmly, twist the body loosely, and twist the ends firmly. To secure it so um, these are all my loose twists on that side 18 on one side 18 on the other side next I'm gonna be putting in rollers at the end now I decided to put in the rollers because the style usually um, it's flipped at the bottom so it's like a flip bob so I didn't want to use heat on my hair so I just decided to use rollers so as you can see I'm taking four loose twists you don't have to do four, I'm just doing four so that I wouldn't have too many rods in my hair. I'm taking four loose twists, sprinkling some water on my end, then putting some gel and wrapping it in the roller. Like I said, you don't have to do four, you can do three at a time, you can do two at a time. I just chose to do four because I didn't want to have too many rollers in my hair. And you can also do, do it single, single, but if I had done it like single, single, I would have had 36 rods in my hair and that's just too much noise so yeah i just decided to do um four three to four on a roller so like i said i'm um, just spray some water then um put some gel and um yeah roll it up in the roller you can use gel or you can use mousse whichever one works for you so yeah this style is very straightforward just do loose twists at the back then um, if you want to curl it put some water and gel on your ends and roll it up with a roller so five rollers on one side and five rollers on the other side about three to four twists on your roller so now time to work on the front section I already sectioned it off camera um, to save time and you guys if you're looking for a hairband that's going to hold on your hair if you have a lot of hair and a hairband that will not rip out your hair definitely try these out I've done a review on them and I've been using them faithfully since I did my review so yeah, I'm gonna leave the information down below so um as you can see i have a front section from one part of my head to the other side of my ear just like that i did the side parts and for the remaining hair i'm just going to do um, little sections and do bantu knots there so i have about six sections so basically you do loose twists at the back you section off the front portion for the bang from um, the parting to one side of your ear then whatever hair you have left just do bantu knots there so I'm going to be taking a moisturizer, I'm taking the Uncle Funky's Daughter Super Curl and I'm going to be doing my Bantu Notes first. So I'm just applying my moisturizer to my hair. In the back section, I already moisturized it before I did my loose twist. So yeah, um, I, but I didn't film when I was moisturizing, so I decided to just film the front so that you guys will see. So um, 
right now i'm done applying my moisturizer so i'm just going to be doing my bantu notes and there are different ways to do bantu notes you can either just roll your hair and wrap it around like this that's actually like the basic way to do bantu notes just wrap it around in a little tiny knot or you can do a twisted bantu knot which is actually a little bit easier to do so after I'm, so after I'm done applying my moisturizer I'm going to show you guys like the twisted version it's still going to look the same way regardless so you just do the one that's easier for you to do from personal experience doing twisted bantu knots is much easier so with twisted bantu knots you twist the section first before you start wrapping it around so you do a twist then you just wrap the twist around into a bantu knot so either method that works for you um, is the one that you should try so I'm done too and I'm just gonna go ahead and do all my other bantu knots like I said I was doing six bantu knots on my head and you don't have to do six some people do five some people do four it just depends on how many you want to do some people even do more than six depending on the thickness of your hair and how um, big or small you do the sections so as you can see for this bantu knot at this side I'm gathering the hair from my part so I'm just swooping all the hair from my part into the bantu knot and I'm going to twist it then do my bantu knot so these are my bantu knots my six bantu knots As you can see the one at the side it comes in from the pattern so for the front portion time to do my bang I'm applying my moisturizer um, again just to soften my hair before I do the bang so that um, it lays flat as flat as possible in front so I'm just trying to see make sure it like looks nice I like the position of the bang next I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just secure it at the side So I've secured it, the bang with a bobby pin and this is what my hair looks like. So I'm just going to leave the hair to dry at the bottom. And this is the next day. Um, my hair is dry. The part that I put the rollers is dried. So I'm just going to take out the rollers. So I didn't go ahead and separate the twists, not for any specific reason. You know how I did like three or four twists on a roller? I didn't like separate them, pull them apart into the individual twists. I just left like the four twists kind of stuck together or three twists stuck together. Not for any specific reason. I just thought it looked nice like this so I didn't want to mess with it too much and spoil the style. But you can go ahead and separate them if like if you have multiple twists joined together. You can go ahead and separate them for more volume. But I thought it looked okay. So yeah, this is basically how I do the style. It's very, very straightforward. It's just something I wanted to try on my hair and see how it would look because I had just been seeing it on a lot of weeks and I thought it was really, really nice. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the style was easy for you guys to follow. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I'll try my best to answer it. Um, like I said, the style is pretty easy. Just do like a part from ear to ear. Do loose twists at the back. You can do regular twists if you want, but you guys know how much I love loose twists. So I, I like to do like loose twists at the back. Oh my god, I could actually pin this down like this. And it would look really, really nice. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, so what was I saying? So yeah, 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 um, yes. So you part it from ear to ear. Then you cut out like a front portion to do the bang in front, the swoop bang, and just do bantu knots in whatever hair that you have left. So it's kind of, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all the stuff I use are going to be down below in the description box. And you can also skip using the rollers at the end, and you can just put beads, but I always put beads in my hair, and I want to do something different. And because the end is always flipped, I just wanted to try it out with the rollers and see how it would be. But yeah, um, I think that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I'll be doing a lot of really, really nice Christmas and New Year's Eve styles, so definitely check down below 
for the links or click the eye at the top or wait till the end of this video and to pop up on your screen don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on this side also do not forget to watch my other natural hair videos on this side i'll see you guys in my next video